This is a little story about a train ride on the Indian Pacific. This is where you're going to take it down. I'm just... I love myself an impromptu trip. So sometimes you need to make your own long weekend. Um, this trip was only planned like a few days ago. So let's do this, let's go to Perth. The airport seems really empty here. I mean, it's a Saturday night. People have probably got a lot better things to do than travel to Perth on a Saturday, but yeah, it's really empty tonight. So the flight's gonna be about five hours. So I think it's probably best to get some food first. I am so full. I am just blech, blech. too much McDonald's. Too much McDonald's. Anyhow, let's go find somewhere quiet. We'll sit down and we'll talk about what this trip is. I had all intentions of starting this whole channel in about a week and a half's time on a trip to Thailand because I thought that's way more exciting. But then the opportunity came up, do I want to go to Perth and get on the Indian Pacific and travel from Perth to Adelaide for a couple of days? And I'm like, that's too good to pass up. I think I should start at that video. The fact that I'm from Australia, I thought, you know what? That's fitting. Make the very first video all about Australia and crossing the Nullarbor. Oh, <laughs> disaster has struck. Wasn't expecting this. The flight has just been cancelled. <sighs> How are we going to get to Perth? We've got to be there tomorrow morning. Okay, so this is highly unusual. We were booked on a Virgin flight um, to go to Perth um, and it got cancelled. We just got an email saying it's been cancelled and they've moved us over to a Qantas flight. Which is probably a little bit better because Qantas is a better airline um, than Virgin, I think, but um, highly unusual. Ah, it's a last minute dash over to a different terminal. Okay, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. Just running between terminals because the flight's leaving really soon, but here I am now at the Qantas terminal. And it also is just as dead as Virgin. Where is everybody? All right, through security and no problems. Let's try this again. Let's go to Perth. So I said that it was probably a better thing that we got switched over to Qantas. And the reason for that is Qantas is about, mm, I guess, $300 more than a Virgin flight. And one of the differences is on Virgin, you don't get a meal and you don't get uh, soft drinks or any drinks. Um, on Qantas, I think you get alcohol and you get soft drinks and you get a full meal. It's a full service. Um, and for five hours, you kind of want that. So thank you very much, Virgin. All right, we're on the plane. Let's go to Perth. I'll see you there. Well, five hours later and we are here in Perth. It kind of looks the same as Sydney from uh, the airport. And unfortunately, we're not really gonna get to see much of Perth. Actually, you're not gonna see anything actually. Um, off to the hotel and uh, I think time to bed and uh, wake up and get ready for this uh, train ride. All right, it is time for bed. Wake up, Damon. It's time to get on the Indian Pacific. Hold up a second, let's just back it up. Before we get on board, let's talk about what we're doing. First, we flew from Sydney over to Perth, and now we're gonna spend the next few days crossing the Nullarbor, going from Perth to Adelaide. Okay, now let's get back on board. Alrighty, here we are. Let's do a one second room tour. Room tour, we get our own bathroom. Hello. 
And yeah, this is it. Now I imagine this is gonna fold down into a bed, but we'll see that a little bit later. Albeit very slowly, we are now leaving Perth. We are out of here, the train is finally moving. Well, I gotta say, I'm a little surprised to be totally honest. We have literally been on this train for, what, half an hour? Not even. And Perth's already done. We're already in the countryside. Uh, it's quick. There's not much happening out here. Alrighty, let's have a look at the bathroom situation here on the old Indian Pacific. It's a bit like a uh, cruise ship sort of aeroplane sort of bathroom situation, except it does have a shower. So, we do get these lovely uh, shampoos and stuff, I suppose. This is where you're gonna take a dump. And, we've got a lovely little shower, which I plan on uh, enjoying. Yeah, and that's it. I mean, there's not much to it, but you know, it'll do. It's good enough. And for that shower, yeah, I'm gonna use up all the water. Everyone's gonna be having cold showers tomorrow morning because I'm in there for like a good hour. That's what I'm doing. It's lunchtime and I am hungry. Let's go down to the dining carriage and see what they've got on offer. What do I feel like today? Hmm. Lobster? Is there gonna be lobster for lunch? That would be nice. Alrighty, here is the menu. What do we want for lunch? I'm thinking the fish. There's a Caesar salad, there's a roasted cauliflower salad. I think I'm gonna go fish and I'm going a brownie. That sounds good. Alrighty, we are starting with the bread service. This looks alright. Maybe a few seeds that I would prefer, but you know, I'm alright. Well, if you order the fish, this is what it looks like, my friends get into the old Jewfish. Okay, the view of my eaten plate is kind of disgusting really, but what can you do? Um, look, that Jewfish was delicious. I'm, I'm giving that a big thumbs up. Alrighty, if you chose the brownie, this is what it looks like. Okay, here's my empty plate review. The brownie was delicious. Yep. Look, they talk about the food on, the, uh, on, on these trains being really good. That was pretty good. That's like a, that's a damn good brownie. Yes, please. Let's talk about the Indian Pacific and the different categories that they've got. There is platinum, which is mostly what I am filming, and there is also gold. The differences between the two are not as big as you would expect. The main difference between platinum and gold is essentially the cabin. It's all about the cabin. The cabin in Platinum is a whole heap bigger and a lot nicer. But when you're going gold, you get the same food that you get in Platinum, or well mostly. You're also getting excursions that are included. They're all exactly the same. And the whole train, it all looks exactly the same as well. So it's really, I guess it comes down to, which one can you afford? Let's see what we've got on offer. For appetizer, we've got a yabby. Well, that's pretty good. Entree, we've got a soup, a pate, and a salad. I think I'm gonna go the duck and green peppercorn pate. And then main course, we've got slow cooked beef, pork tenderloin. Oh no, this other thing's got lentils. No, 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 no. Then we've got some cheese, and for dessert, Ginger and pear pudding or strawberries and cream? Dude, it's the pudding all the way. It's always going to be the pudding. Alright, dinner looks good. What are you going to have? 
Here we go, we've got a nice little tiny delight. Who knows what that is, but it looks nice. A little amuse-bouche, if you like. Here is our appetizer, which is a cabinata yabby. And this is a very rocky train, I apologize for the footage. Okay, empty, empty plate review. That was yum. Yes, please, more yabbies. Yeah, I know it looks like I'm being all masked and having a beer at dinner, but I'm not. It's actually apple cider. Can I get a cheers for the apple cider? Cheers, biggies. So if you are like me and ordered the duck pate, this is what it looks like. All right, not so empty plate review, but here as it is. No, sorry. I thought I liked that, but nah, that's not for me. I don't think anything's wrong with it. I just don't think it's for me. Okay, so if you ordered the beef cheek, this is what it would look like, and I think it's looking pretty good. But on top of that, they've also given us a little bonus salad. Look at that. No thanks. Alrighty, here is my empty plate review. Yeah, that was pretty damn good actually. I've got no complaints really. That was beef cheek, my friends. So if you ordered the pear pudding, this is what it looks like. Hello. Alrighty, here is my final empty plate review for dinner. The pudding. Yeah, look. Look, it's, it wasn't bad, but I'll be, I gotta be honest with you guys, like it was a little dry, but you know, I ate the whole thing, so it can't have been too bad. Um, yeah, look. It was all right. We have just arrived in Kalgoorlie and we have an off-train uh, excursion. Um, Kalgoorlie is a gold mining town, so we're gonna go and see a gold mine and a show and I don't know. It's about 9.30 now um, and it is about 13 degrees. It's a little bit cold, but let's do this. Let's go. Oh, just stop it. Behave yourself. So, you know, you go on these trips and you do things. You go to museums and see shit that you don't really care about. But, you know, we're on holidays. <laughs> big trucks. Yes, I love myself a big truck late at night. It is actually kind of hard to show you the scale of this thing, but it is huge all righty let's climb up this thing and see what we've got going on yeah 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 hello big trucks big trucks and this is cool you can actually go in it how do I get in this thing here we go yeah, look at me I'm driving a big truck Honestly, some people are just so immature when it comes to big trucks. They really are, honestly. Grow up, people, grow up. It's just a big truck for crying out loud. Oh, look. Here's a little baby toy version of the truck I was just an idiot in. Yeah. Oh, what child wouldn't want to read this one? My mummy works at a big mine just quietly between you and me. I think mummy might be a little rough as guts as well. All right, that was our first stop. Now, I think Kalgoorlie is the home of big things. That was the big truck. Now we're gonna go on to our next big thing. Welcome to the Super Pit. Look out.
Look, I've got to be honest with you. If you turn up at 11 o'clock on a Sunday night, hoping to see much in the Super Pit, you're going to be a little bit, just a little bit disappointed because it's pretty dark. And i got to say, the camera actually picked things up a hell of a lot better than the naked eye did. Um, it just looked like a black hole, really. So thank you, Apple and the iPhone, for actually uh, picking up the uh, light there and uh, showing us something. I don't know. I think the head in the hole was really the highlight here. I've been thinking we haven't had any head in the holes on this trip, but here we are. Head in the hole at the super pit. God bless Kalgoorlie. Well, I think that is about all I've got in me for Kalgoorlie and the gold town. Time to get back on the Indian Pacific. And I think probably go to bed. It's like 11.30 at night. I'm so old, need to have a sleep. Here we go with a fully made up room with the bed. It looks really nice. And as you can see, it's really quite good. And there's a lot of space in this room, considering we're on a train. <sighs> Time for bed. All right, my friends, it is breakfast time. We have some juices, some fresh juice and a juice of the day. The main course, we've got a full breakfast. We've got a baked eggs. We've got a ham and steak. We've got a camel curry. That's a little odd. Halloumi and roasted vegetable salad and some toast. And for dessert, we've got a wild berry river mint and natural yoga parfait or a toasted brioche. Okay, look, I think I'm going to be a little boring and I'm going to get the juice of the day, the full breakfast. If you ordered the full breakfast, this is what you're gonna get. But I took out the beans because no thank you. Okay, here is my empty plate review for the big breakfast. Yeah, that was pretty good actually. Get into it. Big breakfast. Look, got to be honest with you, there's not a lot going on at the Nullarbor and even less going on in the township of Cook. It's kind of essentially just a refueling stop, but everyone gets off and has a look around. And yeah, you know, not every trip or every day excursion is going to be gold. Look, I suppose when there's not much to do in Cook, you get a photo on the train. Photo op, my friend, photo op. You know what I could go for right now? A good bubble tea. I don't know where. I don't think they've got bubble tea out here in Cook. I don't think they've got it. Okay, okay, I joke. Cookie's got a rich and long history and a great community thriving with lots of bus... No. No. There's fuck all going on out here. Absolutely nothing. Oh, but there's flies everywhere. Bloody outback. Ah, oh, look. I found something. A rock. Memorial rock. Alright. Oh, well, that's something, I suppose. And it also doubles as... The emergency assembly point. Awesome. I love multitasking. All visitors report to the men's toilets? Eh, there's nothing else doing, might as well. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Yeah, they got that right. Oh, it's 
kind of sad. It's the final dinner, and I'm hoping it is going to be outstanding. All right, final dinner. What are we going to have? We've got kingfish carpaccio. Yep, that works. We've got sweet glazed Peking duck breast, twice baked Adelaide's cheese souffle, Spencer Golf prawn and pork dumplings. I'm going with dumplings for the entree. Main course, we have lamb shank, we've got some chicken, and we've got ricotta cannelloni. Um, I think I'm going the lamb shank. I love myself some lamb shank. Then we've got some cheese, and then we've got a frangipani tart and a mousse. I like myself a French a penny tart, so I'm gonna go to the tart. What, my friends, are you gonna have? Much like yesterday, we've got a nice little tiny delight, as I said, in a mousse bouche. I think that's the term, I don't know. I could be making it up, but I'm going with it because it makes me sound fancy. Let's start the feasting, my friends. Here is the kingfish carpaccio. And here is my empty plate review. Delicious. So if you ordered the dumplings, this is what it looks like, my friends. All right, here's my empty plate review for the dumplings. Yeah, they're not bad, you know, they're all right. Um, I think if you eat a lot of dumplings, you'll be a bit like, okay, it's a little pedestrian, but you know, good try, good for them. If you ordered the lamb shank for your main, this is what it looks like. And I've got to say, it looks pretty good. Here is my empty plate review for the lamb shank. Yeah. Look, it's not too bad. I know, that doesn't sound great, does it? Look, look, it's not bad. It, yeah, I don't know. Lamb shank. All right, since it is our final night, I thought I'd get us a little bit of everything. So here is the chocolate mousse, the frangia patty tart, and the cheese platter. Hello, big girl. All right, empty plate review. Let's start with the cheese. Delicious. You can't lose with the cheese. I think the cheese has probably been my favorite. Then we go to the uh, frangia pan tart. That's probably going to be third, not a bad tart, but I'm going to put it as third place. And second place is the uh, mousse. It was surprisingly good actually, even I wasn't going to get that, but I quite liked it. I guess like just to wrap this whole thing up, because it is the last day and we're going to end the video here. Um, I guess let's break it down. The train. The train's really good. It's a good train. Um, it's an older train, but it's been kept very very well um, so I think you'll be happy with the train um, the room the room is good um, I think that's because I'm in platinum and I'm not in gold um, I think if you were in plat if you're in gold um, the room may not be as comfortable because it's not as big as the uh, platinum rooms but as far as the room goes as I'm concerned it was a fantastic room and actually really quite large especially considering that you're on a train um, the food, the food was good. There was some hits and there were some misses. Um, I think for the food, like everyone talks about the food and says um, that the food is like outstanding. I don't know. I think the food is good. I don't think it's outstanding. Um, I guess I'm probably being a little harsh, but I think because of the price that this trip is, um, and the hype around the food, um, I thought that's where all the money's going to. Um, but now, after being on it, I don't think it actually is all going to the food. Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm sure it's an expensive thing to upkeep and all that sort of business, but so maybe it's going elsewhere. But yeah, um, I think the food is good. Um, and, and I guess you could also look at it and say, you're on a train. Um, and if you're thinking about it being on a train, the food's like phenomenal because like you catch like just like a regional train and all, you, all you're offered is like a meat pie um, from a little um, cafeteria. So look, yeah, 100% the food is phenomenal for a train, but still. Um, and I guess lastly, value for money. 
this is this is my problem with um, with this train is with the Indian Express and I suppose the Garm because they're essentially the same thing. Um, they're really expensive. They're really, really, really expensive, um, and I struggle to see. I struggle to see a great value in bang for your buck. But with that being said, if I was coming from overseas, this is hands down something I would 100% recommend. There is no way like this of seeing Australia. This is seeing Australia in a whole different way and it's really kind of incredible. Um, so I, I definitely give it that um, and I would definitely recommend it. Um, so yeah, um, I guess the crowd, the crowd is um, a little older, but I knew that going into this, I knew it was an older crowd. Um, I guess the average age would probably be 60. <laughs> um, so there's that. Um, but I, you still have a great time. Everyone is very, very friendly. So don't, um, if you're younger and you're thinking that you wanted to do it, yeah, do it. Definitely do it. Um, so I guess that's really it. Um, I guess that's all, of, all I've got to say about it really is uh, it, it's a great trip. I think you'll like it. Um, if you're coming from overseas, you'll see Australia like no other way um, and you'll stop at places that most Australians have never been to. Um, so there's that. So there's that. Um, with that, thanks for watching. You know? I guess this being the first video, woohoo, we did it. First video for the channel, first full length video for the channel, and I think it's been pretty good. Well, I hope it's been pretty good. We'll see, nobody might watch it, who cares? I did it for me, really. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, which is gonna be Thailand. We're gonna be in Bangkok very, very soon. Bye. <laughs>